This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy it. Calm down, Rex. I'm not the enemy here. Saren's the one you should be mad at. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. I shouldn't have to explain that to you, Rex. Indulge me. If you can't give me a better reason than this to destroy the hopes of my people, then I'm done with you. I can't let you jeopardize the mission. So that's it. All this time, and that's all I get from you. How can you not see what this means to the Krogan? This base can't be destroyed. I won't allow it. No, I'm not. I can't believe he'd turn on us. What happened? I just couldn't reason with him. He wasn't gonna let us take out the base. Damn. I knew he was angry. I just didn't think he'd lose his life over it. Better him than the commander. You are Shepard. We would have shot any other alien out of the sky. But you, we give the respect to our most powerful enemies. You destroyed Vermeer. You saved us from becoming Saren's minions. But you also destroyed a cure to the Genophage. But more than that, you killed Erdnot Rex. I am clan leader Erdnot Reeve. Rex was my brood brother. I had no choice. Rex was threatening my mission. I'm not blaming you. Your actions on Vermeer allowed me to wrest leadership away from a bunch of radical reformists. Rex died as a Krogan should. His friends became my friends, and Erdnot found its proper path. He had troubling ideas. We are better off with a leader who respects tradition. You can't speak for me, Uvenk. This Krogan is just a glorified thug. How can he speak for his people? By demanding respect. And I suggest the Solarian show some by starting with my name. Erdnot Reeve. Then you can tell me why I'm supposed to give a piss about the Turians. I've already got Reaper scouts sniffing around my own planet. Reeve, spare us the bluster. I'm not a diplomat and neither are you. So stop pretending and just tell us what you want. <laughs> oh, I'm deadly serious. You need our help? Then here's what you're going to do. Cure the Genophage. Absolutely not. The Genophage is non-negotiable. Why are you so opposed to the idea, Delatras? Because my people uplifted the Krogan. We know them best. You hid behind us while we saved you from your own cowardice. Your citadel exists only because the Krogan stopped the Rachni from swallowing it whole. And after that, you ceased to be useful. The Genophage was the only way to keep your urges in check. Dalatras Reeve has a point. Antagonizing him won't solve anything. I won't apologize for speaking the truth. We uplifted the Krogan to do one thing, wage war. It's all they know, because it's all we wanted them to know. That decision saved the galaxy. The Rachni were devouring everything in their path. And what the Rachni started, the Krogan tried to finish. We simply traded one enemy for another. I won't let history repeat. Curing the Genophage will doom us all. Whether you like it or not, we need Krogan help to win this war. And what happens when the war is over? We'll find a new way to keep the peace. And they'll break it. Enough. This is all theoretical. It would take years to formulate a cure. There's no time. That's where you're wrong.
There was a Salarian, Malon. He took some kind of twisted pity on our females and tested a cure on them. I remember. His methods were barbaric. It gets worse. Some of the females survived. They escaped his lab before you got there, Shepard. Embarrassing for the Salarians. So the Dalatress ordered one of her goon squads to take them prisoner. Where did you get this? It, it could be a fabrication. No more lies! Those females are immune to the genophage, and they belong to me! Dalatras, is this true? How will curing the genophage benefit my people? What does it matter? Palavin is burning right now. Earth is burning right now. If it takes a cure to cement this alliance, then that's what I'm doing. She's right. The hard truth is we don't have a choice. Give Reeve what he wants. Or none of us will survive long enough to know who was right or wrong. The females are being kept at one of our STG bases on Sirkesh. But I warn you, Commander. The consequences of this will be... ...will be nothing compared to what happens if the Reapers win. Let's get the females! You're not setting foot on Sirkesh. This will take time. It happens now. As a Council Spectre, Shepard can oversee the exchange. We're going. I won't forget this, Commander. A bully has few friends when he needs them most. This is the Solarian homeworld we're headed to. They aren't used to seeing Krogan here, so let's keep it simple. We land, get the females, and leave before anyone changes their mind. I never like talking to Solarians. Not unless they're begging for their life. Keep a lid on it, Reeve. I can't have old grievances screwing this up. What about recent grievances, Shepard? You destroyed Malin's data the first chance you got. Careful, Reeve. Shepard's here now, isn't she? Not as a friend of the Krogan. This is about politics. The Krogan weren't ready for a cure. A reckoning will come, Shepard. We'll remember who stood with us and who spit in our face. Commander, I have the Solarian base on sensors. Set her down. We'll sort this out later. Commander, Solarian ground control says we don't have clearance to land. Tell them the Dalatras authorized this herself. Once an enemy, always an enemy. Permission denied. We're being waved off approach. Land anyway. You're too polite, Shepard. Reeve, don't! No! Ago. I'd like to avoid a diplomatic incident. As would we. But you have something valuable to read. And I'm here to take it back. This matter can be resolved, but I must insist you remain under guard. <laughs> and if we insist otherwise, you'll have another war on your hands. Wouldn't want any dead Solarians, now would we? Touch me, and I'll rip your head off. Shepard, we can't let these Solarians dictate the situation. The females belong to me. I need you to stay calm, Reeve. We can't risk turning this into an armed standoff. I'm already taking a risk by letting you handle it. And I took a risk by bringing you here in the first place. Let's just call it even. For now. Are the Krogan ready to fight the Reapers? <laughs> That's like asking if an Asari is ready to mate. I see Rex was the diplomat of the family. <laughs> this is the fight we were born to win. 
Back on the Normandy, you said Reapers had been spotted on Tachanka? Unlike their attack on the Turians, it seems the Reapers are taking it slow with us. Playing it safe. They know the minute we enter this war, their days are numbered. I suppose an arrogant Krogan is what we need to win this. At least he doesn't lack for confidence. What do you know about these females? They weren't important, at least not until Malon's experiments. I used them as decoys to keep other clans from stealing the fertile ones. That's a brutal way to treat your women. Hmm. <laughs> On Tachanka, you either breed or you fight to protect the ones who can. It's why we Krogan are so... friendly. It's the fight we were born. Who told you about the females here? Don't insult me, Shepard. The only reason we're even talking is because you're useful to me. I'll be going now. And I'll be what? I wasn't sure you could pull this off, Shepard. Let's make this quick! I'll take it from here. I'm not your property, Reeve. Ugh. <sighs> 